A beloved West Michigan tradition <laughs> returns rather <laughs> this weekend. The theme, let's all be friends. That's right. We're talking about the Grand Rapids Asian Pacific Festival. It's a celebration of the rich and diverse cultures of Asia and the Pacific Islands. So we have our friend Lauren Coomer there this morning. She's kind of our festival guru yes. at this time of year. Lauren, what do you see out there? Are they <laughs> setting up now? Hey, good morning to you both. Yeah, the setup has begun. People are already out here. The festival kicks off in not in just a few hours, so they're getting ready to welcome over 25,000 people this weekend over the three day period. We are joined by KV, the board chair for the Grand Rapids Asian Pacific Foundation. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Absolutely. Good morning. So tell us a little bit about this festival. What is your guys's goal here um, by hosting this? Uh, thank you for that question. We, this is our seventh year hosting the Grand Rapids Asian Festival. Uh, our goal is to bring various cultural backgrounds that represent our community to Grand Rapids. We have representation of 3% within our community here, but people don't realize there are 48 different Asian countries, but just alone in Grand Rapids, we're probably at there's half of us here. So you're going to get performance, food, and the whole experience of who we are. And a festival like this is really bringing people into into this uh, culture. So um, there's a lot of education aspect, but of course a lot of food and drink as yeah. well. Talk about that. Yes. Well, you're going to get from Filipino food, Korean food, Hmong food. You're going to get to sample some lychee ice cream, mango ice cream infused with a little bit of alcohol in there. Um, and then a lot of our sponsors are here. We have Kids Tent. We have K-pop dance off. We're going to have um, karaoke. So many different things for so many different people to come out here and experience this with us this weekend. And speaking of, of the arts and the performances, you have a lot of those. You have two stages this year yes. and lots of good performances ahead. Yes, I mean, we're going to kick off probably with the line dancing this afternoon. And then on Sunday, it's family day, Ohana. We're going to end it off with a Asian Pacific Islander doing um, various performance representing different islands. So please come on out and experience the full weekend because we have something for everyone. And so it kicks off today at 11, just a few hours yeah. away here, um, runs until Sunday, and you guys are expecting to see a lot of people. Yes, I mean, this is a destination now, right? We've been doing this for seven years. We get folks from all across the state to come to this event for this weekend, and we attract some people from outside the state as well. So we want to be that destination for everyone to come experience Grand Rap and see a little bit of Asian Pacific culture here. And you mentioned there's a lot of new food places and drink places as well that are coming from across the state. Yes. So places that people wouldn't find here locally. Yes. I mean, we got folks coming from the Detroit area, Hmong food, uh, purple sticky rice. If you've never had that before, please come check that out. We have folks that are coming from uh, the Troy area that has Hmong cultural outfits and merchandise. So, yeah, just, just various things that are coming from different areas from the state to bring us together here in Grand Rapids. KV, yeah. thanks for all the great information. We're very excited for this weekend to kick off with this festival. And again, like we said, this kicks off at 11 a.m. today, runs until Sunday at 5 p.m. So you have a long time this weekend to get out here and enjoy some food, dance, culture. For now, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio reporting live from Calder Plaza, Lauren Coomer, Fox 17 News.